Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, it's uh, quite, a, quite a quick one. We're looking at how you can set a consistent ID for your extension between each time you want to upload it to the web store, or if you want to share it amongst your team, so you can have that same extension ID every time. Now it's actually really straightforward and quite easy to do this. So all you need to do is uh, upload your, your zip file into the, the Chrome web store. If you've already done this, um, then you just you know, continue from the step when once I add this in. So in the first one, we're going to find the zip file for my extension. So I've selected my zip file here. This is just a, a simple extension from the last video I did where I migrated it to manifest version three. So then from here, all you need to do is go into the, the package uh, link just here and click on view public key. Okay, so we want to get this public key just here. So we don't need this uh, first line or this last line. So we want to select everything else, we're going to copy that and then you just need to make sure that you remove any new lines. So I'll just take those away now. And then we're going to paste that in uh, to our manifest using a uh, property of key. And so here it is pasted in with all the new lines removed. So then we'll save that, zip it up again and then add that into the web store. So what you'll find now is so long as when you're um, uploading into the web store, so when I go over to, to package just here, if I select and upload um, the file that we just zipped up, this one just here, so this has the key uh, added into our manifest, that it will accept that and add it, to, add it to here. If we accidentally uploaded this to a different um, extension, so if I have a different one over here, I think this one has a different ID. Yeah, if I tried to add that into here, what we will see is that the key field doesn't match this item. Um, but what this is actually useful for, if you're sharing these amongst your team, you can be sure that the ID is going to be the same and consistent across, you know, multiple team members, or if you're sending it to test before uploading to the web store, when you're in the uh, developer part of the extensions over here. So if we have developer mode enabled, and we were to upload the extension, it would have the same ID. So now I hope you find this video useful. If you've got any questions, then just drop a comment on this video and I'll be happy to take a look. Thanks and see you in the next video.